Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you found what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to share with you the most common noises that a bad starter makes. Now, the first bad noise is no sound at all. That means that the solenoid is not energizing the bendex which turns the starter. If you hear no noise, that's the worst noise. Number two, you'll hear a solid click. Click means the solenoid is energizing, but the bendex is not engaging in turning the starter motor. That's normally a one-click situation. If you hear rapid multiple clicks, click, 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 that probably means you have a weak or bad battery. But if you have a good battery and you hear one solid click and it doesn't engage and turn the starter, either the starter motor is bad or the Bendix is bad. And sometimes if you do that repeatedly, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, it'll finally engage and start the car. The third sound that you'll hear is a weak or failing Bendix, which means that you turn the key, the starter engages, and then it almost immediately disengages because the Bendex is weak. It's not holding out and turning the engine so that the car starts. And last but not least, you'll hear the sound of a starter that engages and starts the car, but when you turn the key off of the start position, the starter continues to run with the engine while you're driving the starter is engaged on the flywheel and runs the full time. That could be a fire hazard. You don't want to let that go on long. But anyway, that is also a condition. Now, I think the engine outruns the starter and the clutch in that Bendex system may allow it not to continue to try to turn the motor. However, a starter motor is a powerful electrical motor. That thing overheat could catch fire. So you want to get that fixed as well. So. Let's get started so you can hear these sounds. In this example here of the starter noise that you'll hear, the Bendix is getting weak and it's not staying engaged long enough to start the engine. It kicks in, it starts to turn the flywheel, and then it kicks out and just makes this grinding, windy noise. Started on the third try. Let me go turn the key so you can see what's happening. You might see it turn a little bit when it catches. It missed when I first started turning. You also can have a situation where the generator has a dead spot. That's what's going on with my car there. I turn the key, I don't hear nothing. If I had the hood open, I could probably hear a little click. Sometimes you'll hear it click and nothing happen. I click it again and it, every time I click it, that generator turns just a little bit until it gets off of that dead spot. And then when I uh, turn the key the next time, it'll work normal. I turn the key twice, nothing happened. So basically when you start to get a dead spot, you can turn the key and nothing will happen. And you keep doing that, and it'll inch around sometimes to a live spot. Sometimes it helps if you go outside and tap on it. See, it caught, took about eight or nine tries. Sounds like the starter is staying engaged on Little Red. Go ahead and start the car. So if you ever hear this sound, that's what this is. The starter staying engaged. All right, cut it off. These are starters that go in your normal combustion engine car. Here we go. I'm gonna put through here. That's a matter right there. It's test results. Sounds good, man. Sounds good so far. Uh
ass. Watch it, the ass. This is the components of a starter. You got the starter motor that's encased in here. If I pull, pull this part off right here, you would see a electric motor. This part has what's called the Bendex. You see the teeth on that thing right there. When the starter is energized, the motor turns and this is pushed out to here. And this piece here is mounted flush against the transmission. And those teeth will slide out and grab the flywheel of the engine and start turning the engine. And then the engine turns fast enough. It gets a little fuel. It starts to spark because of the rotation of the engine. And it'll spark, fire, and begin to run. The starter is what causes the engine to quote unquote turn over or crank. Turning over and cranking is the same thing. Last but not least, you have the solenoid. The solenoid gets the signal from the ignition system to power the starter. The starter gets the power directly from the battery. That cable, big cable, leaving the battery goes right over here and connects to this part of the starter. So the starter is always getting power. The starter is grounded because it is mated up against the transmission and engine. So that grounds it. And then you have a little wire that connects here. That's the wire that is energized on the solenoid when you turn the key to the start position. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter. And if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, Leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.